It's a very brand new technology, never existed before. We're using frequencies. With frequencies, you don't have to use high power. You don't need to use excessive energy or really any energy at all in order to get the fuel that you need. Hydrogen. In a small, quiet workshop in Greece, an inventor has claimed to do the impossible. He's created a machine that can run solely on water, no oil, no gas, and no electricity. Just water, a special alloy, and a subtle frequency. This device, according to the inventor, could change the world. But is he a genius or simply deluded? And if this technology is real, who stands to lose the most? Meet Petros Zografos, a Greek physicist who believes he's discovered a way to generate clean, free energy using just water. His machine works in a way that defies traditional scientific understanding. It doesn't rely on chemical reactions or massive electrical inputs. Instead, it uses sound waves, specifically resonance frequencies, to break apart water molecules, generating hydrogen gas, which can then be used to produce electricity. Zografos's invention is not some highly secretive, high-tech contraption hidden behind layers of complex machinery. In fact, it's built almost entirely out of transparent materials – clear glass tubes, silicone connectors, and a unique metal alloy. The design is so open that anyone can see exactly how it works. There are no hidden wires, no concealed batteries, just water, metal, and air. The process starts with ordinary water, tap water, sea water, or even stagnant puddle water. The machine requires only a small electrical pulse to start, equivalent to a 12-volt battery. After that, it powers itself, producing enough electricity to run 20 10-watt LED lamps at the same time, without needing any further external power. This is what makes the device truly remarkable. It's self-sustaining. The machine operates indefinitely once triggered, producing electricity with no ongoing energy input. At the heart of the machine is the interaction between water and a special alloy. The alloy contains four naturally occurring elements, nothing exotic or rare, meaning this technology could be easily scaled and accessible to everyone. When the water is exposed to specific frequencies, it vibrates in such a way that the molecules split into hydrogen and oxygen. This isn't the brutal force of electrolysis, it's a gentle coaxing, like tuning a musical instrument to hit the right note. Once the hydrogen is produced, it can be used to generate electricity. And remarkably, the only byproduct of this entire process is water vapor. Clean, non-toxic, and harmless. There's no pollution, no hazardous chemicals, and no waste. Just pure, renewable energy. What's even more impressive is the machine's energy profile. The initial energy required to start the process is minimal, much less than conventional electrolysis systems, which require massive amounts of energy and expensive infrastructure. After the initial pulse, the machine runs continuously, creating hydrogen and generating electricity without any additional energy input. It's as if the machine is alive, constantly responding to the water's molecular movements and adjusting its output accordingly. For many, Zografos' invention is a potential revolution in energy production. If this technology can be proven and scaled, it could threaten the dominance of the fossil fuel industry and drastically reduce carbon emissions. It could change how we think about energy, pushing us toward a future where clean, sustainable energy is not just a dream, but a reality. Zografos didn't stumble upon this idea overnight. His work is the result of over three decades of research. He has long been fascinated by the molecular behavior of water and the principles of resonance energy. This is what led him to experiment with using frequencies to break water molecules apart more efficiently, without the energy losses found in traditional methods like electrolysis. Zografos has said his primary motivation is environmental. With the planet facing the looming threats of climate change, pollution, and resource depletion, he believes that finding a clean, sustainable energy source is not just a technological challenge, but a moral imperative. Despite lucrative offers from powerful energy companies, he has remained committed to transparency. He wants to prove his invention through public demonstrations and rigorous independent testing to ensure the world knows that this technology is real and it works. But not everyone is convinced. 
many scientists, especially those in the energy industry, are skeptical. One of the most fundamental laws of physics, the law of conservation of energy, suggests that you can't get more energy out of a system than you put into it. So how can Zorgorafos' machine work without any external power source? Some argue that his claims defy basic thermodynamics. Despite this, Zografos is undeterred. He insists that the machine's operation isn't based on breaking the laws of physics, but rather on a new understanding of energy dynamics, one that's been hidden for centuries, waiting to be discovered. To prove his point, he has made the machine fully transparent, allowing anyone to see how it works. There are no hidden wires, no secret fuel tanks. It's all visible in real time. Zografos's openness and commitment to public demonstrations are a direct challenge to the secrecy that often surrounds new technologies. It's one of the reasons he believes his machine is so different from conventional energy systems, which are often shrouded in secrecy and guarded by corporate interests. The machine's transparency isn't just literal. Zografos's willingness to share his research and allow it to be independently verified is a rejection of the traditional, profit-driven model of technology development. He's not interested in locking away his invention behind patents or corporate deals. Instead, he's driven by the belief that energy should be a shared resource, accessible to everyone. If he's right, this machine could disrupt entire industries, creating a new world of decentralized, clean energy. This approach, combining scientific openness with a radical new technology, has already caught the attention of the scientific community. Some engineers have even tested the machine, using tools like oscilloscopes to measure frequencies, gas emission readers to analyze outputs, and spectrum analyzers to detect electrical signals. The results have been stunning. There's no detectable pollution, no radiation, just pure hydrogen being produced, as Zografos claimed. But despite these early successes, there's still a lot of skepticism, and the scientific community remains divided. Some see Zografos as a visionary, while others dismiss him as another inventor chasing pipe dreams. The real test, they say, will be whether this technology can be replicated and scaled. Zografos understands this, and while he welcomes scrutiny, he insists on securing a patent before sharing any more details. He worries that, without legal protection, the technology could be stolen or sabotaged by powerful interests. One of the most significant challenges Zografos faces is the entrenched power of the fossil fuel industry. As the world increasingly moves toward clean energy solutions like solar and wind, the oil industry remains a massive global force, with vast political and economic influence. Zografos's invention threatens to undermine their entire business model. Some say that's why the technology hasn't received the widespread attention it deserves, because the powers that be don't want it to succeed. Zografos isn't just developing a machine. He's potentially reshaping the future of energy itself. And that future isn't just about creating cleaner power, it's about creating a system where energy is decentralized, where everyone has access to renewable energy without the need for fossil fuels. His work has the potential to change everything. If this technology is verified and scaled, it could lead to an energy revolution. It would provide clean, self-sustaining power that anyone could use, no matter where they live. It could be the solution for remote communities, off-grid areas, and developing nations that are still reliant on polluting fuels. It could end the need for expensive energy infrastructure, eliminating the need for coal or gas plants, and reducing the world's reliance on non-renewable resources. The implications go far beyond energy production. If Zografos' machine works as promised, it could lead to breakthroughs in other fields, like transportation, water purification, and even space exploration. The possibilities are endless. Petros Zografos' invention has the potential to disrupt the entire global energy landscape. His machine, which uses just water, a special alloy, and subtle resonance frequencies to generate clean, renewable energy, could completely change the way we think about power production. 
by breaking down water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen using sound waves instead of electricity, Zografos's technology offers a self-sustaining, pollution-free solution. The machine produces electricity with minimal initial input and no further energy needs, making it a groundbreaking step toward decentralized, sustainable power. If Zografos's claims are verified, this could lead to a massive reduction in the world's dependence on fossil fuels, drastically cutting carbon emissions and environmental pollution. It could also make energy more accessible to remote areas and developing nations, without the need for expensive infrastructure. Moreover, it could pave the way for innovations in fields like transportation, water purification and even space exploration. However, despite early success and demonstrations, skepticism remains, especially from powerful industries threatened by this technology. Zografos faces the challenge of proving his invention on a global scale and ensuring it doesn't fall victim to corporate sabotage. Stay informed and join the conversation. Could this be the future of clean energy? Share your thoughts and let's explore what's next for the world's energy revolution.